The edifice behind me is moving on steadily, though the individual in charge of this particular infrastructure has been asked to put a stop to it and he or she must produce permit. This owner of the property is continuing the construction of the property. This electric pole can even fall any moment from now because you know, they want to construct a wall. It means that there's no collaboration between the developer and even electricity company of Ghana. You know, otherwise, something like this cannot happen. Huh? Because, look, even, even if it's being done properly, they, they should have relocated this, this lines first. The lines should have been relocated by electricity uh, uh, company. But you see, there's no uh, 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 consultation, there's no collaboration. People are just hiding here to do what they want. Hmm? And in our country, we don't punish. We are afraid to punish. We are afraid to take decisions. Hmm? For whatever reason. Eh? Love to me, we bring bulldozers and no matter the, the, the extent of construction, we bring everything down. Because to protect the road and to protect the people of this country is more important than whoever is you know, building uh, 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 these houses. Eh? Why should we allow individuals and to allow individual interests to supersede that of the nation? Mr. Amakwata further noted that the local government ministry will be informed to instruct the Equiapim South District Assembly to halt the issuance of permits to any developer on the hill. But whatever it is, even that not with, that notwithstanding, we have to bring it to the attention of the uh, local government authorities, and I will have to do that with my colleague minister, you know, to issue a strong stand uh, uh, instruction or if you like call it warning warning to all the the uh, relevant uh, uh, assemblies not to issue permit to potential developers you know on top of of, of this here and then it lies within their domain also to take action that should any recalcitrant developer, you know, uh, decide to do that immediately. You know, such uh, development must be halted, you know, by, you know, uh, 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 the assembly through demolition. We don't even allow it to come up at all. You, you know, at the initial stage, you come in and you demolish it. Ranking member of the Parliamentary Select Committee on Roads and Transport, Kwame Agboja says there's the need to name and shame individuals who reviewed their documents for the erection of structures on the mountain along the Pediasi Aimensa stretch. When I say we should name and shame, I am saying that let's find out the individuals who actually reviewed this drawing because it's quite a complicated structure going up here. It's a quite a, a huge engineering work. Is the assembly able to tell us that they actually went through this and can, con uh, can, can assure the public that the permit they gave and they're supervising the work in such a way that it's not co uh, committing or causing environmental problems here. But if that's what they say, then why are we having this? If you look along this road, did you see any, any deliberate uh, attempt to create a channel for the water to safely leave this place? No. And it's, it's a problem for all of us. It cannot be left to the assembly to take decisions this way. Chairman of the Parliamentary Select Committee on Roads and Transport, Samuel Ayipei, called for collaboration between the National Security and the local government ministry to find a lasting solution to the Rock 4 incident. He adds that owners of buildings with permits should be compensated, whereas buildings without permits should be demolished outright. This is not about the road alone. It's about the national security. So I expect that the national security, the Ministry of uh, Local Government, under which the assemblies uh, give the permit, we must find out whether indeed permit has been given to those structures. And if they've given permit, who gave them the permit? What research went into the preparation of the permits to uh, those who are building, the developers over there? We must find out. Those who don't have proper uh, permits should be demolished. And then those that have been given...
giving permit, we find out who gave the permit. And if a compensation or some form of compensation will be paid to the developers, we do that and get the structures down. After a successful tour of the area, the Minister of Roads and Highways says a study or an assessment to be conducted and buildings found to be contributing to the rockfall will be demolished. Reporting for City News, my name is Philip Nee Latte.